Good morning, everyone. How are you? It's Father's Day in Beverly Hills. It's Father's Day all across America. And I wanted to take you on this journey, uh, showing you the Rodeo Drive Concourse de Elegance Car Show. It's an annual event. It takes place every Father's Day here in downtown Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive. So let me show you what's going on. <laughs> let me reverse the camera here. Hold on one second. Uh-oh. Where's the camera reverse? There we go. Okay. So here we are. We're at the corner of Rodeo Drive and Wilshire Boulevard. An iconic corner, and that's the famous uh, Beverly Hills Hotel from the movie Pretty Woman. I'm sure many of you remember that. Many of you asked about that. And let's take a tour of some of the cars today. So as many of you know, Rodeo Drive is one of our uh, iconic shopping centers. Not shopping center, shopping streets, I should say. <laughs> it is a shopping center. It's an outdoor street shopping center. And um, this is a fun event. I don't know about you, but I love cars. And I love looking at cars. I'm not really a car collector, but I do like to see the new cars and the antique cars and all that. So let's take a look around. So this is the Ogara Coach Rolls-Royce Bentley booth. And I will say that uh, Bentleys and Rolls Royces are definitely my favorites. Um, I heard that's the new Silver Spur, I believe. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the fastest sedan manufactured today. Gosh, it's a gorgeous car. I've always loved the Rolls Royces, but I don't know, that, that Bentley really looks smart, right? Give me some thumbs up if you like the Bentley. Bonjour, cher Denis, comment ça va? Denis is my cousin in France, from the south of France, who's now a real estate agent. J'espère que tout va bien. <laughs> Let me give you a little wave. There we go. So uh, a couple of my friends have the new Bentley and Rolls Royce uh, SUVs were kind of cool. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I look forward to you coming to visit and having lunch with you and showing you our beautiful Rodeo Drive. I know you love to shop and um, we'll show you the shopping. Here's a vintage red Rolls Royce, I love that. I don't know if any of you saw the other day, but I was at a listing in Beverly Hills. It just came on the market for 17.75 million. And it comes with some Andy Warhol artwork and Andy Warhol's Rolls Royce, 1978 Silver Shadow, I believe. So that was kind of cool. So this is kind of the new car section. And then once we get past uh, Dayton Way here, we're gonna have the more of the vintage cars. Hey Barry, how are you? Katie, how are things in London? Or in England, I should say. Here we have some, looks like some Lagondas and some Ferraris. I come early because there's going to be 35,000 people here today. So uh, I'm not into crowds at all. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to be here when it's busy. Oh, the Bugattis. Okay. I myself would not want a Bugatti, but they are amazing cars. Look at that. Beautiful. I think these range from about 1 million to... A couple million. I think recently there was a sale of a Bugatti for two or, th or maybe was it eight million? I don't know. I mean, some cars can really go for crazy prices. Well, that's a McLaren. Yeah, some of these I just don't know. Now, we do see these on the street all the time, but again, I don't know a lot about cars other than that they work and they get me to where I need to go. <laughs> that's all I care about. So, I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? I don't. <laughs> so this is uh, Via Rodeo. Via Rodeo is one of our shopping centers. This is really is a shopping mall. This is a separate uh, shopping mall, and there's a lot of Porsche cars here in the mall. And uh, they have Versace and uh, different stores, and it's pretty cool. It's very pretty. It's kind of like Disneyland. Bijan's Bugatti. I don't know. Uh, good question, Gabriel. I don't know if it's going to be here. We're going to go by Bijan, and usually they have Bijan's Rolls Royce out there. So I'm sure we'll see that. So let's continue up the street. We have some Porsche, Porsche cars over here, so let's go look at those. And by the way, if you guys want to come, it officially starts at 10 a.m. Uh, the admission is free, so you can come for free with your family and take a look at all these cool cars. It's kind of a fun Father's Day that's a cool vintage Ferrari. Look at that. I love that front. 1971 Ferrari 365 GTB4 Daytona. Estimate of 675 to 750,000. Wow. That's an expensive car. Beautiful. 
Hey there, Lynn. How are you? Okay. Let's continue on. So we are next to all of my favorite shops. We've got Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Fendi down the street there. There's another view of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Oh, and that's a Robert Graham sculpture, by the way. Uh, we have a lot of public artwork here in Beverly Hills, and that is a sculpture by Robert Graham. I forget the name of it. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of the vintage cars, which are kind of more fun in my opinion. So let's take a look. Oh wow, look at this thing. I don't know what this is, but look at that. Let's take a look. Oh wow, it's a 1928 Bentley 3 8 of a liter racer. Wow, look at that. 1928. That's amazing. Just think in the 1920s, they drove cars like this. Very cool. It's probably another Bentley. <laughs> Let's take a look and see. Another 1928 Bentley, yes. Look at the front of that car. Beautiful, look at that. And the engine. Yeah, this year, uh, Lynn, I decided to do it live. That'd be a little bit more fun. Hopefully it's nice and clear for you guys because sometimes with the Wi-Fi, it's not so good. This is gorgeous, look at this. Wow, look at that engine. Wow, I don't think they make engines like that anymore. You know what, Lynn, I bet you Jay does own. Uh, I've met him a few times and um, he always comes in a different car. Last time he came in a new Tesla when he came to one of my open houses and uh, he pushed a button and the car drove up to him, which I thought was very cool. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go down that side first and then I'll come back down this way. So let's go this way. Oh, wow, here's an old highway patrol car, probably from the 80s, I'm guessing. Oh, that's a funny looking thing, right? Here's a 1923 Ford. Very interesting. LA really is a car town. So we see a lot of people driving around LA with really cool cars, vintage cars. Well, this is a 1935 Packard. Wow. That looks like something that, you know, Gloria Swanson would be driving around in in the movie Sunset Boulevard. Am I right? I think she did have a Packard actually in that movie. Maybe that's why I thought of it. Look how pretty that is. What an unusual color. I wonder if that was the original color. Let's see. 1935, no, 19, it's a Packard 35 Phaeton. A true Dietrich, I don't know what that means. Hmm, from Detroit. A Packard, it's an American car, okay. I didn't, see, I don't know much about cars. It is a cool color, right? Thank you, Janie, have a blessed day to you as well. Oh my gosh, Lincoln Continental with the suicide doors. When I was a kid, I thought this was the coolest car must be from this, well, maybe it's the 60s, but look at this car. Wow, look at the inside. And they're so beautifully restored. Question for you guys, I'm now using um, a DJ Osmo 2, which is supposed to stabilize the video, because quite often with um, Facebook Live videos, they're very shaky, and that always used to bother me, so I didn't do a lot. And I had some challenges using um, Smoves and these little handheld things, but this one seems to be working pretty well. So I'd love your feedback if it's nice and smooth on your side. This, now what is this? This is a 1932 Chrysler Imperial sedan. I can't read the words, so. And I put my wide angle lens on so you could really get a good look at the cars. That's beautiful. It's a great way to start the day. Look at this. So here we are. This is Rodeo Drive, and we have our early morning June gloom clouds, which is typical. And um, it'll get sunny later on, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, 1936 Bugatti. 1936 Bugatti. Now that's got to be worth a fortune. If you guys are car enthusiasts, there's the Peterson Automotive Museum here in Los Angeles. It's in the Miracle Mile of LA and uh, they always have a great car collection. Hey Fabian, how are you? Hey Linda, thanks for watching. Oops, push the wrong button. Sorry guys, there we go. Okay, so that's a Cadillac. Wow, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that. Oh, 
Wow, beautiful inside. That's one thing I do like about new, I like the look of vintage cars, but I love the modern features of a new car. So this is a 1953 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Pretty cool. Bruce Bryan, are you watching? Because I know you love cars. You should be here. A Studebaker, okay. So I've, I know I've heard that name, but I don't know much about Studebaker. Right in front of Valentino, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> That's cool. Here we have a 1958 Continental. Wow. Yeah, the 50s had those really cool fronts and the wings in the back. Yeah, this does have wings. There are the wings. Okay, 1957 Mercedes Benz. God, you know, there's something about the lines of antique cars or vintage cars, I don't know what you're supposed to call them, but uh, that's beautiful, right? 1963 Porsche. Very nice. Okay, let's see what's on this side. 1934 Chrysler Airflow. If any of you have these kind of cars or know about these cars, talk, say something. I'd love to hear your thoughts. 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Biarritz Coupe Convertible. That's pretty stylish, the white Biarritz. Biarritz is a part of uh, the south of France near Bordeaux. I know because my mom's family home is over there, or was over, or is over there actually. And uh, we used to go to Biarritz. It's a beach town with casinos and all that. And we used to love um, going there. Wow, this is a Fiat Abarth. Now that I've never seen. When I was first getting my um, license, or about to get my license, you know, being a 14, 15 year old dreaming about getting a car and freedom, that's all I thought about. And I wanted an Alfa Romeo Spider. I wanted a BMW 300 series convertible. I wanted, um, oh, there was another British car. I wanted a convertible. Uh, but unfortunately, I was not able to get one. My stepfather gave me his 1971 VW Beetle. And it was bright, original orange paint. <laughs> which I didn't like. So I went immediately to Earl Scheib. I know you guys know Earl Scheib. You can paint your car for $99.99. And I was 16 years old, didn't have a lot of money, so I had my car painted for $99.99. And it was white. And then at least I could drive it. <laughs> 1963 Chevrolet. Look at that engine. Wow. That's something. Hey, Trinky, how are you? How are things up in beautiful Lake Tahoe? You probably have sunshine. <laughs> Now this, my goodness, this is a interesting car. This is probably one of those cars that jumps up and down. Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Look at that engine, all gold. Wow. I had a good friend in high school that had a car before I did. She was a little bit older than I did. And she had a Cutlass Supreme, a four door. And we used to go everywhere in that car. Look at this thing, jeez, look at that paint job. Something, yeah, I know that car pops up and down. I'm sure of it. It's another pretty vintage car. I'm guessing from the 1930s, maybe? Yeah, 1938 Buick. Beautiful. Beautiful. 1956 Pontiac. Look how low that is. Wow. I'd be so concerned driving that thing around. <laughs> Oh, now this is a gorgeous car. Wow. That is like, doesn't even look like a real car. It looks like it's just a cloud. Okay, so, so far this is my favorite. This is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. 1934 Packard Aquarius. That is absolutely just, look at those, look at, you can't even see the wheels. That's really special. Oh, I love that. Designed and built by Rick Door Customs. Okay, I don't know, 1934 Packard. But look at, look at how low, it's literally a half an inch off the road. Boy, I don't know how you can keep that neat and straight. That's stunning. Let's look at that one more time. Look, I don't want one, but it sure is pretty to look at. <laughs> okay, so here we have a 1960s Cadillac. Look at that line. Wow, very space age, am I right? And it's so low, I'm six feet tall and it's not even to my waist. Look at the inside. Wow. Those look like bullets. Those look like copper bullets inside. And that orange Hermes interior is just amazing. Yeah, those, there's gotta be bullets. They look like bullets. <laughs> 
1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Here we go, 1948 Jaguar, black and gold. Look kind of like uh, that Packard we just saw. Very simple, that Packard really was special. Love that. And this one, I don't know what this is. Interesting paint job. Looks like a car that Cheech and Chong would drive. <laughs> and we know Cheech and Chong and they don't drive that, I can promise you. <laughs> 1955 Mercedes. That's pretty. The engines are fascinating. I don't look at engines very often. I don't think, actually my newer car, um, I don't think I've ever even opened the engine. Actually, I've never opened the engine. That's so funny. Oh, and this one has matching luggage. Look at that. We've got the matching luggage inside. That is really cool. I don't know if you remember, back in the 80s, there was a brand in Paris called Pasquale Morabito, and it was the finest uh, luggage in the world. And they had custom luggage. You could buy crocodile, alligator, suitcases and luggage that were made specifically to fit your car. And they had solid gold trim. Instead of the brass trim, solid gold trim. And I remember being a teenager and thinking, oh God, would I love to have that. This is a gold wing Mercedes. Now that I've always thought was just a stunning car. 1954, that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at the dashboard. Really beautiful, 300 SL. Oh, someone's coming late. <laughs> oh, he's parking over there. A Shelby, 1966 Shelby. I don't know much about Shelby's. I don't know if it's a British car. Anybody know? Shelby, is that British? Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hey, Sarah, we sure miss you. Rodeo Drive misses you. <laughs> There's a Maserati, 1953 Maserati. Let's take a little look at that. Wow, look at that engine. That's some engine. And look at that interior. Wow. Oh, it's American Carlos, thank you. I'm glad someone knows. <laughs> like I said, I don't know much about cars. I just know what I like and what's pretty. Cavalli, I love Cavalli. Too bad they left Beverly Hills, I'm sad about that. But they closed all their stores worldwide. I don't quite know. This is an interesting one, 1956 Maserati. Looks quite original. 1967 Ferrari. Interesting. Very thin car. Very thin, interesting. And here's another Ferrari. This is a 1961 Ferrari 250 GT. Don't worry, guys, we're going to come back down the road. We're only about halfway up, so there's a lot more to see. Uh-oh, someone's car's not starting, but I've never seen one like that. Let's check that out. That's interesting. It's got to be 50s, right? Let's see what it is. Cadillac. Wow, 1950s Cadillac station wagon. I've never seen that. Pretty cool. Have you ever seen a Cadillac station wagon? I haven't. Amazing. And again, very low. Oh, I guess you can buy some bags while you're here to go in your car. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? This, this is pretty. This looks like a newer car. Wow. Look at that windshield. 2018 Code 57. I don't know what that is. Anybody seen a car like this before? Wow, look at that front. That's amazing. And that glass, I wonder if you can actually, if it actually gets the wind out of your face. <laughs> Let's look at the inside. Phyllis Diller's car? I don't know if that's Phyllis Diller's car. No, this one is not. But look at this. Wow, look at the back. Looks like a Batmobile. 
Very cool. Um, Lynn, often they do have celebrity cars here. I have not seen any yet. Usually they have a, a thing on there that says that. So this is a vintage Rolls Royce. Very, very pretty car. It reminds me of, oh, I can't remember the name of the movie now. It's, I hate it when I forget names of things. It'll come to me. But it looks like a car from a movie. I don't think it is the car from the movie, but... Uh, There we go, cool. Okay, let's continue on down the road. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you're enjoying this, uh, give me some thumbs up and some, some likes so I know. So if you guys do like this, I'll do it again next year. Oh, Gabriel does look like from the Beverly Hillbillies, you're right. <laughs> oh, someone's got a noisy engine. Okay, this is a 2018 roof, rough. That I've never even heard of. Another, was it RUF or RLF? I don't know. Anybody know about this kind of car? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's so funny, Lynn. I remember that movie. <laughs> this is, looks like a Porsche. Nice color. Oh, the, oh, my friend, my wonderful friend and junior high school yearbook teacher, photo teacher, and art teacher had a Targa. It was a, about that color back in when I was in junior high school. I remember going in that car and thinking, wow, how fun. Love going with Vivi in that car. Vivi, if you're watching, I remember your beautiful Porsche. I hope you still have it. Wow, that's a gorgeous car. Look at that finish. I guess I'm not the only one who thinks so. It's all metal. That's pretty amazing. I don't know what kind of metal. Let's, let's read up about it. 1959 Rung Spider. R-U-N-G-E. Wow, never heard of that. But pretty cool finish. I wonder if that's steel or aluminum, but pretty darn cool, right? Oh, and it's a one-seater. I guess it's a two-seater, or it could be a two-seater, but it's generally a one-seater. Interesting. Okay. So there are places here to lounge and relax during the car show, which is nice. Oh, this is designed by Meredith Bear. <laughs> Meredith Bear is a is the largest staging company that I know of in the United States. Meredith and her company has staged many, many, many of my listings over the years. So Meredith has put together this little area for people to sit and relax. Okay, well, this is something new and different. It's like a motorcycle car. Look at that. I'll have to go read the sheet about it. Oh, it's chrome wrap, Gary. Thank you for letting me know. I'm glad that the car experts here can tell me things about these. That's beautiful. 1930 Majestic Bernadette Sidecar Deluxe. 1930, wow, that's amazing. <coughs> Very unique and beautiful. Though it's not just cars, it's... Also, looks like motorcycles. Is that a motorcycle? <laughs> so here we have another. Looks like a Ferrari. Nice red Ferrari. I'm guessing it's from the 70s. No information on that one. Okay. Well, I wonder if this is street worthy. My goodness, looks like something from Mad Max. <laughs> That's pretty sparse, right? But look at that. Here we go. 2018 Mad Max jet car. It is from Mad Max, see? I could tell. I remember that movie. It looked like something from that movie. Am I right? Oh, this is probably from Mad Max, too. Oh, from something called The Zombie Patrol. I've never seen that, but I guess that's what they use to patrol for zombies. <laughs> Okay, this is the new BMWs. That's a race car, obviously. Ralph Lauren, one of my favorite stores. I've always loved Ralph Lauren. So the car show is basically the three blocks of the Rodeo shopping district. So from Little Santa Monica Boulevard down to Wilshire Boulevard. So it's a pretty easy walk as you can see going up and down it's about 
in 45 minutes, depending on how much time you take to look at all these lovely cars. And it's nice and cool right now, so if you come early enough, you won't be stuck in the hot sun. Because it will get sunny later on, at least I think it will. Thunderbird. It's a pretty car. That's a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks, Gary. I don't know how I guessed it, but it just looked like Mad Max, right? <laughs> this is a Corvette, okay. 1965. Is it a Corvette? Yeah. Chevrolet Corvette Coupe. And that looks like another Porsche, I'm guessing. Yep, 1960 Porsche. Pretty. Okay. More Ferraris, Maseratis. These are all more of the new cars. Even the dogs like to come, see? The dogs are coming to see the cars. <laughs> Lots of dogs. <laughs> so obviously it's a dog-friendly place to come. So let's go back down the side and see what we can find and explore on this side of Rodale. So we're gonna start heading down south here from Little Santa Monica. Okay, so this is one of the 1965 Morris. Kind of looks like those new cars, those little minis, right? Is it called Mini? Looks very similar. Morris, I don't, I'm guessing it's a British car. Looks like a British car. Yeah, Gary, there's a lot of Porsche cars here. And is it pronounced Porsche or Porsche? I never know. 1965 Volvo, oh, wow. I never would have guessed that's a Volvo. My broker is here and he just texted me. This guy comes here to socialize, I don't know. Aston Martin. I think the dogs are enjoying the car show too. <laughs> I should have brought Alexander with me, but then I couldn't do my video. 1963 Chevrolet Coupe. Well, I would not have thought that was a Chevrolet. That looked to me kind of like a Ferrari. Very pretty. Another Aston Martin. Beautiful silver color. I guess it's a, a bug shield. A little glass bug shield to protect the windshield from bugs. <clears throat> Renault. When I was a kid in France, some of my relatives had Renaults just like this. Not a sports version, but uh, I know Renault was a very, very popular car in France. We used to drive around in those. Oh, yeah, you know, it's funny, somebody copied me on... Okay, 1955 AC. Don't really know much about that. Nineteen sixty one Chevrolet sedan. That's a big muffler on the side. That's interesting. Oh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Someone says he's a huge fan. I like that. <laughs> yeah, three people stopped me and said, Hey, you're Christoph Chu, so I guess my videos get around. People get to know me. Nineteen eighty three Ferrari. Okay, I remember that from high school, that look. Oh yes, what was that? Miami Vice. That was I was so into that show Miami Vice when I was in high school. And uh, all the cars and the white. That's why I started wearing white linen suits, because I saw them wearing the white linen suits. I said, I'm going to look like that. And I was really lucky in high school. We got to interview Don Johnson for, I was the editor of the paper in high school, and I got to interview Don Johnson. We took him to Ma Maison restaurant, and, uh, and that was really cool. I've got a copy of that article somewhere. I've got to find that. But I was so excited to interview Don Johnson uh, for our school paper. That's a cool car. 1955 Buick Roadmaster. Oh, that's what I would call a real touring car. Look at the inside of that thing. And the color. I don't even know what you call this color, but it's quite unique. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Can't wait to see the video. I haven't had a chance yet, but I will later on today. Here's another Ferrari. Another Ferrari there. This is, oh, so, <laughs> Porsche. Sorry, guys. 1989 Porsche. Uh-oh, I almost dropped that cone and scratched that car. Glad it wasn't me. 1963 Pontiac. Now this is, now this is a, a Miami Vice kind of car. Definitely, yeah, right. 1986 Lamborghini. 
Oh, I'm sure in Miami Vice they drove cars like this. White and black, of course, that's so Miami Vice, right? Love that. Oh, and the guy's got the suit to match. Maybe it's his car. <laughs> so here's another Lamborghini, 1999. Pretty. So you guys who are watching, do you guys prefer vintage cars or newer cars? That's so cool, Lynn. What's the Roadster Ray? Which one was the, did I pass by it or show it? Oh, this is a 2018 Ricer Tekion Speed. Wow, look at that front. It doesn't even look like a car. It looks like a spaceship. How do you even get in that thing? Look at that. That's something unique. Let's look at this really close. Oh, it must be a race car, right? <laughs> Let's look at the back. Wow. There we go. It totally looks like a spaceship, right? Okay, we missed some on that side, so let's take a look. That I'm not so into. This is a pretty car. It's a Morgan 20... More, it says 2019, but this can't be 2019. Beautiful interior. Must have been just redone. Look at that. Oh, it won some kind of award. Yeah. So I guess if you showcase your car, you can win an award for best of something. 1966 Sunbeam Tiger. I haven't seen one of those before. Oh, the black convertible ray. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so here we're getting into an interesting old Rolls Royce. Oh, look how simple the engine is. The wood trim. Oh, in the back seat. I wonder who got to sit in the back seat. And I wonder how they got, even got in there. <laughs> it doesn't look very easy. <laughs> seems like there's a little bit fewer cars this year than last year. Oh, you had a Tiger Ray? Wow, I've never heard of a Tiger. Is that an American car or is that a European car? I'd love to know. Okay, let's see. In this Rolls Royce, I would love to know if it was in a movie of some kind. Now here's some new ones. This is cool. Oh wow, look at this car. That's amazing. Look at the details on the outside. It's like a sh ship. Beautiful. I've got to figure out what that is. That's the one thing about older cars. I love the way they look, but I love the fact that newer cars. Oh, it's a Bugatti. Oh, of course. Beautiful. Noisy, but beautiful. <laughs> I don't want a noisy car. I switched a couple years ago to a Mercedes hybrid. Uh, which I really like because it's part electric, part gas. Uh, honestly, the truth is I wanted to save the environment. And secondly, I hate going to the gas station. Uh, my wife switched to an all-electric car. And it's quiet. doesn't smell so much from the fumes. And it's not noisy, especially when it's running on electricity. It's quiet as a mouse. So those of you that drive electric cars, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Here we have a Maserati, guessing from the 60s. 1961. Oh, I'm learning about cars. At least I'm good at guessing. <laughs> Let's look at the inside of this one. Okay, very nice. Another Goldwing Mercedes, all in black. 1955. Again with the matching luggage. That is so cool. I love that. 
Louis Vuitton should have done that. They should have done custom luggage to fit your cars. They make custom luggage, so I, I mean, I'm sure they do, but I mean, as more of a open thing for every client if they wanted to do that. That's a beautiful Mercedes. Lovely color and lovely lines. Very, very pretty. Okay, looks like we've got some race cars over here. Le Mans. Don't know what this is. I always wondered why they had straps on the engine. <laughs> hey, Christian, I'm glad you like all of the vintage cars. I do too, and if I wasn't here, I'd love to see a video of vintage cars, which is why I always try to do videos that I like to see. So this is pretty. Did you turn the kill switch off? Let's see what it says. Cobra, 1965 Cobra. Hmm. This is another, not sure what this one is. I wish they would have little plaques in front of all the cars so we know for sure what the make is, the year. Oh, on the seat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a Corvette. Pretty colors. That's a souped up Corvette. I'm sure that didn't come off the showroom like that. <laughs> Very unique front. And here's another race car. Yeah, I'm not so into the race cars. It looks like Speed Racer's car from that cartoon when I was a kid. Remember Speed Racer? Go, Speed Racer, go. 1956 Alfa Romeo. Ooh, that's beautiful. It says Montana Princess. That's a cool touring car. Oh, it's a Rolls Royce, of course. No wonder I love it. <laughs> you know, in life, you love what you love, right? 1962 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Wow, look at that front. That's beautiful. Silver Cloud Drop Head Coupe. Let's look at the inside. Very pretty. That'd be fun to drive around in on a nice summer day in the south of France. Or here in Beverly Hills, where we're just like the south of France. <laughs> okay, let's continue down our little final leg of this journey today at the Rodeo Drive Concourse d'Elegance. And just as a reminder, it's going to start officially at 10, but you can come now. It's probably 9.30 and uh, take a look before the 35,000 other people come to take a look and while it's still cool. Because once it's busy later on, you won't be able to move on this street. <laughs> That's a muscle car. 1969 Oldsmobile. Wow. Looks like from the Dukes of Hazard, right? Remember the Dukes of Hazard TV show in the 70s? It's another vintage Porsche. That's a pretty one. 1960. Cute. Cute little car. And then we got another 1967 Ford. It's probably another 60s Ford. This looks like a 50s. Oh, nope. 65. 1965 Porsche SC Euro Sunroof Coupe. Yeah, I wonder what year they started doing sunroofs in cars. That'd be an interesting question. And here we have another Mustang. <clears throat> in front of the Dior store. Okay, this has nice lines. This is a 1974 Jaguar. It's interesting how the Jaguars are kind of coming back to make the designs look like the vintage designs. 1969 Dodge Daytona Charger. Okay, here's more what I like. Rolls Royce. That's always one of my favorites. Very, very pretty. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, it's a Bentley. Sorry. Let's look at the front. Oh, the front's very pretty. Look at that. To me, the grills in the front of the car are always really important, how that whole front looks. And that's really beautiful. I love it with the palm trees reflecting on the cover, right? Oh, and by the way, I hope you guys can hear me well. Let me know. I did have a microphone. However, I realized that my new microphone with the, the DJ Osmo won't work. So I have to get another new wireless microphone. But hopefully the sound is nice and clear. I think we saw this coming up earlier. Yeah, we did. Interesting front. I know, so shiny, right, Lynn? The owners must have spent hours and days getting these cars ready for the show. And there was that 1928 Bugatti, I think it was. That's gotta be from some movie. It looks like a movie car, right? Yep, oh, 1928 Bentley, excuse me. Now the doggy having fun. So we're almost at the end of our journey for today. So I think the rest are just the new cars once again. So I think we're gonna go this way a little bit. There we go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our journey today on Rodeo Drive at the Rodeo Drive Concours de Elegance. It's the 26th year of this going on. And again, it's going to be going on, I'm guessing, till 5 or 6 p.m. today. So come enjoy the sights and sounds of Beverly Hills. Look at the beautiful cars. Eat at one of our amazing restaurants. Shop at one of the incredible Beverly Hills stores. And just enjoy the Beverly Hills lifestyle. It's one of the most wonderful places in the world to live, visit, vacation, whatever it's got everything you want so let me give you one little last look around so here we are again at two rodeo the shopping mall and there's wilshire boulevard and the hotel and the car show so it's obviously a lot busier than it was earlier right <laughs> well thank you guys for watching if you like this video share it give me some likes and hearts let your friends see it share it on your facebook page and um I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time from Beverly Hills. And if you like it, I'll come back again and do this again next year. Thanks, guys. Take care, and have a wonderful day and afternoon. And happy Father's Day to everyone celebrating. See you soon.